Evening, everybody. Calls to poison control centers are skyrocketing, and there has been at least one death. And now there's a proposal in Ohio to childproof bottles containing liquid nicotine. Liquid nicotine is the flavored component for electronic cigarettes, the vapor emitting devices, which are growing in popularity. Local 12 News reporter Jeff Hirsch investigates the potential danger to your children. Here at the Vapor Flavor Shop in Clifton, I just take it and pour it on and then business is smoking hot about a year ago there were maybe a hundred different vendors this year i want to say there's a thousand electronic cigarettes or e-cigs have a battery powered coil which heats What's liquid up? nicotine called juice and gives off flavored vapor around 100 different flavors if we have tobaccos we have some tobacco flavors if you like fruits i like this one i like that one you know if you like custards you like uh, you know, something nutty or something citrusy, you know, there's, you can find everything. It's illegal in Ohio and in most other states to sell e-cigarettes to children, but young children can get into their parents' or older siblings' liquid nicotine with potentially deadly results. So a long time ago, nicotine was used as an insecticide on plants. Dr. Mike Gittleman is an emergency room doctor at Cincinnati Children's Medical Center and a board member of the Ohio Academy of Pediatrics. Just uh, the other day, I saw a child that was under one year of age that got into their liquid nicotine. Thankfully, they had a very small amount. But even ingesting amounts as small as 14 milligrams can be serious. Of course, it's easy to talk numbers and mathematical formulas, but let me show you in a very, very dramatic way what a small amount of liquid nicotine is needed to really harm or even kill a child. Take a look at this dropper, only one third of this dropper can be deadly if swallowed by a small child. In fact, in December, a one-year-old boy in upstate New York died after drinking liquid nicotine. And the flavors which adults like to inhale as a vapor can be sweet and attractive as a liquid to a toddler. Instead of just drinking a small amount, want to drink even more of it. State Senator Shannon Jones has introduced a law requiring childproof caps on liquid nicotine filler bottles for e-cigarettes in Ohio. There are really concentrated levels of nicotine that are being sold with no child or tamper resistant packaging. And so we can see cases where kids, even very small kids, ingest a small amount of it and with terrible outcomes. Something as simple as child proof packaging can save lives. For example, Tylenol, when it came in a very small vial and they put protective capping on, we have not seen an unintentional ingestion of Tylenol that's caused significant problems in the last several years. Um, so this is very similar. And even where the juice is sold at this store anyway, Andrew Cornell says he's all on board for protective packaging. It's not going to put anyone out of business. It's not going to really change everything how it's going. It's just going to be a little safer. I'm okay with that. Which could add the flavor of safety to all the other flavors on sale. Jeff Hirsch, Local 12 News. And we do have some examples of the flavorings for e-cigarettes. Um, and I'll tell you right now, I've opened them, and they're very easy to open, and they actually smell pretty good. There's a vanilla, a blueberry, there's jungle juice, and there's even one called um, Juicy Fruit. It looks just like the gum. They've got a little picture of the gum wrapper there. And again, it smells just like Juicy Fruit Gum, and you can see the cap is very easy to open, really no problem at all. But at any rate, uh, one of these, it's the blueberry flavor right here, it has no nicotine at all, but others range from low to extra high concentrations. But there's really no information, at least on these bottles, as to what percentage a high concentration is, for instance, versus an extra high concentration. But if you'd like to learn more about liquid nicotine safety issues, just go to our website, local12.com, click on that red Get It button, and we have a link to additional information from Cincinnati Children's Hospital.